Well, equity, diversity and gender at work represents the experiences that different individuals and different groups of people have at work. So statistically, we know that different groups of people have different experiences and outcomes at work. For instance, women are much less likely than men to reach senior positions in organisations. Um, people from non-English speaking backgrounds or even with non-Anglo sounding names have less chance of getting interviews for jobs than people with English names such as Smith or Jones. So we know that experiences are, are quite different at work and it's very important to understand uh, the experiences and outcomes of all. Well, equity, diversity and related principles function at work through legislation and organisational policies. So we have specific legislation in Australia, as do many other countries, that relate to equity and equality at work. These principles are incorporated in some of the industrial law, but the legislation also operates alongside the industrial legislation of a country. And then we add to that, particularly when it's called managing diversity, a lot of organisational policies. Um, the legislation and policies in Australia are underpinned by notions of social justice. That is that everyone should be treated equally at work. But there's also a lot of literature that says that recognising uh, equity and diversity in the workplace is good for business. That is, it can bring economic benefits to organisations. Well, workplaces need to be aware of equity and diversity and gender because otherwise uh, their policies and practices actually may not produce the outcomes that they want. Um, we know that workplace experiences and outcomes are different for different groups of people. So unless you take this into account in studying an issue and producing policies and practices, then you mightn't reach the outcomes and the goals that you desire. The challenges that equity and diversity and gender studies have within the employment relationship at this stage uh, are actually being seen as a central part of the study of employment relations, human resource management, and not just an add-on. Research on equity, diversity, gender and other groups in the workplace is central to understanding the employment relationship, uh, both within organisations and also in terms of meeting some of our national goals. So there's widespread goals in our community today about getting more women into senior positions in organisations or, for instance, people with disabilities, uh, allowing them to be employed with equal rights and responsibilities in the workplace. So understanding these issues is a core component of understanding the employment relationship.